GPS working, but you're still not getting lap times? It might be as simple as just managing your track database. Hey guys, I'm Brick with AIM Sports, and today we're gonna be looking at managing your track database on Race Studio 3. Maybe not everyone knows this, but every Race Studio 3 logger does have its own track database. Now, when you buy one of these new, it does come preloaded with tracks, but this is something that the end users can manage. So it's possible to add things, delete things, change things around. So there might be some instances where your GPS is working fine, but it's not recognizing the tracks and therefore not getting lap times. So we'll head over to Race Studio 3. You will wanna make sure you're connected to the internet for this one. That way, if there are any new tracks, you'll see them. Again, if you don't have this program, it is a free download on aimsports.com. We'll put a link down in the description. In the top left corner, we'll see this track icon and it'll have this little red circle if it has some new tracks to download. Click on that, it'll take you over to the tracks page and up here at the top, we'll see where it says do updates. So that means there are some new tracks that need to be downloaded. So we are gonna do update. See this synchronize, load the new tracks, operation complete. All right, so we now have a complete track database right here, uh, all the tracks right here in the center. Now this is the AIM track database. So you can think of these as being stored on a cloud. This is all the tracks that we have information and knowledge of stored right here, but this is not what's actually on your device. So what we're gonna do is go up here to Wi-Fi, connect to this Micron 5 that I've got next to me, just to use as an example. We'll see the Micron show up over here under connected devices. And if we click on that, we'll see the right side of the screen populate. And it's gonna populate with the tracks that are actually on this Micron. Uh, so this particular particular Micron does already have tracks on it, but just as an example, we're gonna go ahead and remove all of those. And if you have no tracks on your device, this is what it's gonna look like, just a big blank page on this side. So then how do we actually get tracks from the AIM database over to your device? All right, so we're gonna start by sorting the tracks down to what you actually need, because most of you probably don't need all 5,552 tracks. So if we look up here where it says all tracks and go to this gear icon, that'll bring up this page that we can use to select filters. So here we have all the different filtering options. For this example, we are gonna be on the North American continent. We're gonna be in the United States of America. And since we're using a Micron 5 for this example, we're gonna filter down to just carting tracks and we'll hit okay. And now our 5,000 some tracks is just 245. So a little more manageable to do it that way, then we have less tracks to, to deal with and only the ones you're actually gonna be using. Now there are two ways to do it from here. You can either click on this box right here to select all of the tracks and just send all of them over to the unit, or you can select individual tracks. So if you wanna make sure that just the tracks that you're using are gonna be on there, you can do it this way. If you wanna make sure you've got all your bases covered, just select all the tracks, and then uh, we're gonna hit this transmit button to send them over to the unit. So we'll see a little green bar go across under connected devices here, and then we should have this side populated. Drum roll, please. So now that we have all the tracks on our device, when we show up to a track, we acquire some satellites, we should be able to see that track in the area, select it, and then get lap times from that. Now there are some ways to create your own tracks, but that's a topic for another time. So guys, that's gonna be it for this tech tip. We thank you for joining us. Make sure you subscribe, and also let us know down there in the comments if there's anything that you want covered, and we'll see you next time. Take care.